Another method of forecasting time series with trend is um, called trend projection. This technique fits a trend line to a series of historical data points and then project the line into the future for medium to long term range forecast. There are several mathematical trend equations that can be developed, such as exponential and uh, quadratic forms. But in this section, we look at uh, linear or straight line trends only. A trend line is simply a linear regression equation in which uh, the dependent, independent variable x is the time period and the first time period will be time period 1, and, and, and the next one is 2, and so forth. The second time period, uh, uh, 2 and 3 and 4, and so forth. This, the last time period will be the time period n, and uh, the form of this line is uh, uh, called also linear regression. So, um, and we have learned linear regression uh, before in your statistics course uh, or many other classes, and uh, simply it's y hat equals b0 plus b1 x1. b0 is uh, uh, the intercept, and b1 is uh, 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 in slope of the line, and x is the, the time period. And you put them here and then see how it goes, and that's a, a, a trend projection using linear regression. Okay, um, so then let's take a look at how to do trend projection line. What I did was I just copied the spreadsheet that I used. And uh, here is the uh, fit line. And I want to add a projection or trend line over here and find the, the linear regression right here. And as you can see, the, the demand, the actual demand is in orange. And I want, you, you can see that it's dropping because of this um, question mark that we don't know yet. So I'm going to just simply delete that, then uh, the trend will change. Otherwise, you know, uh, the linear regression can be severely affected or skewed by that uh, zero. So that's why I deleted it and it looks uh, much better. So to create a trend line, what you can do is um, select the, um, the graph like this, right? And then go to right click and add trend line. And then on your right panel, uh, it displays exponential line or linear line, logarithmic line, polynomial line, and so forth. And uh, uh, let's uh, start with the display equation. So it says, um, maybe we can make it bigger so that we can see it like here, right? So we can see it now it says y equals 10.536x plus 56.714. So uh, the slope is 10.53 and the intercept is 56.714. That's what we found in this uh, linear uh, line. And um, if you go there, again, and I want to also uh, display R square. R square is 0 0.8009, which is really high. So in other words, 80% of variance was explained by this uh, linear trend line, right? So that's how we look at it. Um, you can experiment with other line, for example, exponential, exponential line, and uh, R square is 0 0.81, O2. So it's uh, slightly more power it has, and y equals 63.204, and e to the 0 0.105. That's an exponential model. And what about log uh, logarithmic model? And uh, let's make bigger to look at it. And r squared is 0 0.6688. So it's a lower than linear line. I, I don't think it's a good fit, so uh, you don't have to choose this one. You can skip it. What about polynomial model? Polynomial model also 0 0.8138, and uh, the line uh, it has is uh, 0.7738x squared plus 4.3452x plus 66. Uh, however, uh, did, you know, 
comparing with the complexity, the R square is not that great. What about power? Does it give you a better one? R square is 0.723, and Y is uh, complex. And um, what about moving average? Um, you know, we, we have just done moving average, so not necessarily it's very good. And period is two period. Um, maybe you can increase the three period or um, four period. This is simple moving average that we learned five periods that you can do, uh, but it's not a really a good fit. So given the situation, you know, uh, there is uh, pros and cons because uh, uh, as you make it exponential or logarithmic or polynomial, the complexity of the line increases. And uh, with just simple linear regression, you have about 80% of free exponential power. If you choose exponential or polynomial, uh, you can increase to 81%, but uh, the incre incre increase, increasing degree of exponential is not as significant uh, as the linear model. So I would just go with the linear model. So this is how you can add uh, trend projection easily using Excel. Thank you.